Police need your help to capture the man who robbed a record store in Moorhead last night. You're not the only one who likes to have a little fun in the sun during the summer. Funny you say quiet because of this morning around 4.45, <laughs> I and a lot of other people in Fargo, I think, awoke to quite a clatter. Boy, tough break for UND Athletics this weekend. Right, first the hockey star McMillan's out yesterday, yeah. and now Mulberg, football star. Rough ba weekend. Basketball team better watch its back. It <laughs> better. 3.55 at the Glen. I like Cheez-Its. I love Cheez-Its. They're T delicious. Tasty crackers. Yeah. It's not a big deal, really. That was Michigan State coach Tom Izzo's reaction to news that his National Player of the Year candidate, Denzel Valentine, could miss two to three weeks after having knee surgery. Tonight, the Spartans' hoopsters had a chance to back up their coach in their first game since his injury, taking on Oakland. We are just 10 days away from Notre Dame's Fiesta Bowl matchup with the defending national champions, Ohio State. And Irish players, young and old, are talking about the team's closeness. They embrace their status of being Notre Dame's 127th team in school history with the Team 127 slogan. That was started by the team's senior leadership, but it's now being embraced by the Irish underclassmen. Well, NFL Pro Bowl rosters are out, and well, it was a bad year for local teams. No Bears, no Colts made it, but this guy did. Why am I showing you Charles Woodson? Well, that's because the future Hall of Famer announced that this, his 18th season, will be his last. He's a freshman at Michigan that year, and it makes me feel old that now he's uh, mm -hmm. already old enough that he's retiring, but what a career. All right, thanks so much, Eric. Well, the number of walking wounded for the Irish football team is starting to dwindle a bit. Earlier this week, we told you Durham Smythe and Jerron Jones would be healthy enough to play in the Fiesta Bowl. And today, Brian Kelly revealed that C.J. Procise's ankle should be healed enough for him to play New Year's Day against Ohio State. Now, if you grow up playing football in Ohio, you dream of playing for Ohio State. That's just the way it is. And as Notre Dame players spend the holiday with family before leaving Saturday for Arizona, a few of the Ohio natives on the team say they're hearing it from Buckeye-loving friends. With friends like those, huh? Well, IU has arrived in the Big Apple to prepare for Saturday's Pinstripe Bowl versus Duke. Now, the team is scheduled to ring the bell at the New York Stock Exchange tomorrow. Today, the squad held its first practice in pads to get ready for the Blue Devils. Erin gets when she's upset, believe it or not. Helmet's a helmet, she doesn't need it. Uh, why did you tell everybody my secret? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's the holidays. I'm in a giving mood. <sighs> Thanks so much, Eric. I really appreciate it. You're well, welcome. stay with us. We are now less than one week away from the Blue Gold game. And big news, Brian Kelly is named a starter at quarterback. Sort of. A little bit about yeah, Miami, don't I know. you? I think for a lot of these players, this is the first time they've ever seen snow. You hadn't yeah. seen snow before you came up here, right? No, I was in New York. Oh, you were? Yeah. You hadn't seen snow in April, You don't know though. me at all. <laughs> it gets old real quick, boys, though. So you're, you're better off where you are. Hi again, everyone. Only two people have ever won five South Bend Metro Golf Championships in the tournament's 91-year history. Leader after three rounds, Brandon Knudsen, was going for his fifth championship in a row, something that's never been done.